got something live. Oh, I need to pull you up. <laughs> I will be live in literally just a minute or two. Nice. Trying to do my Twitch posts and stuff. I see you got a good bit going on. Um, yeah, man. I'm now at a point where I've got, I think I've got the first two two episodes worth of stuff roughed out. So, that's nice. Still not 100% sure how long it's going to take me to finish it out, though. But process is process, right? Yep. I definitely don't move anywhere near as fast as you do. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. I feel like you'd be good at it by now. I know you have experience with comics, so... But yeah. you are doing a different type of format. Like you're, I feel like you're having to change your style up a little bit because you're having to re, I guess, redo it to to web comic format. Well, I mean, it really, it's just a, a it's all a process, I guess. Um, the, I think the thing that's really got me is like, I kind of have to use a different style depending on what I'm doing so like when I'm doing uh, like I've got a project like an ongoing project that is 100% character design um, where I'm just designing characters for uh, this guy and his company um, and then doing like a little bit of finished illustration stuff for it but not much yeah. um, that like that style is completely different like the way I work um, the, the process the flow and all that completely different from how I do like storyboarding um, yeah so, and and like I just finished uh, a fast like two-day job on that outside of the stuff I do for my day job stuff and um, it's a completely different process it's, if it's it's like a very different like super fast super loose sketchy style um, so it, it kind of feels like I'm I'm bouncing between workflows a lot trying to like oh okay well like on my lunch break i'm gonna do this thing and and i feel like it kind of takes me a second to get back into this workflow i gotcha which you know the very first world problem to have i guess And the fact that I still have to do like a sketch layout for this. Um, I wish I didn't have to do that. I wish I could just go straight into it. But I'm not I'm not good enough for that yet. <laughs> if I'll ever be. It's still fun. Um I just, I don't know. My style, it, it, like you said, it's so different from yours too. That your your yeah. ability to to tell your story is something that you've kind of honed in on over the last couple of years. I am officially live. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Did that, did that sound like a crowd saying hello? <laughs> hello, hello. Probably not. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll just stop. Okay, so today I'm working on a new uh, webcomic icon cover thing. Are you using it for different things? That is my objective. You number your uh your lunch breaks. Lunch break number fifteen. Don't yeah. be like. Lunch break. Hello, gosh, thank you for joining. Hey, you still need to send me commission stuff. I do that tomorrow on my stream. Yeah, send, 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 yes. send, 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 send
Yes. <laughs> oh, damn it, I need to pull your stream up. I was like, why can't I see what you're doing? I was looking at my uh my stream labs and I was like, why why is it why why can't I see what you're doing? You're fine. Take your time on on the character. I wanna make sure you get what you want. So this must be a very special character you're putting a lot of effort into. So Gosh says he's uh, been writing the character and he's been made it like three times now. Wow. That's that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of TLC. I got everything turned on. There you go. Technical difficulties this morning. <laughs> I'm over here like, I have all my pages open. Like, <laughs> all my little... <laughs> Alright, well, gosh, I can't wait to see what you come up with. I can't wait to draw it. Sometimes it's good to draw other things once in a while. That's the damn truth. Indeed. Again, for whoever just joining, just doing a new cover on a webcomic. So, Webtoons did this new thing where it's like you they're doing like vertical icons now. They kind of notify it or notified people who, I guess, uh, do webcomics. They recommend on changing it to more of a vertical style. So that's that's what I'm working on today. Nice. Gosh, that is fine. I'm fine with that. You do what you gotta do, man. Where is my character reference sheet? I need to know how far this goes. I guess we're both kind of working on webcomic type stuff today. That line was just awful. Oh my gosh. I like started drawing a line and I didn't realize my stabilization was like all the way up. So it was not oh. making what I wanted to make. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? Yeah, the, the stabilization can be real nice and it can be like a real... Uh... Be a real mindfuck sometimes too. Hey, I spent all morning kind of looking into some references because you know it's gonna take me like forever to <laughs> a look up a reference. Just gonna jump right into it and start a drawing. Because if I don't get started and it just I'll just never figure out what I'm doing. I don't even like I feel like I'm not satisfied enough with these references either. I'm just like <laughs> I guess I'll figure it out as I go. You can do it. You can do it. have to make the characters a little smaller because I'm going to be using it for different things. I want to be able to, I guess, crop it. Be more croppable, I guess. Crop. <laughs> it's a fun word. Crop. Oh, 
Come on, brain. I kind of had a light breakfast this morning. I had fruits. Oh, that's a nice snack. phone alerts me to something that happened like 20 minutes ago. Did you just love that? Yeah, it's like, oh hey, there's a very important uh, thing for you that you, you might want to know. And it's like, oh cool. Like, oh yeah, that's that that's too far in the past. <laughs> Not helpful. Not helpful at all. Yeah, I got my shot, last shot yesterday, so and now my arm is like, left arm at least. I'm glad they did it to my left arm, because I can't lift it, it just, it's just <laughs> really sore. I don't feel any symptoms though, thank goodness. That's good. It's just, just soreness. Like someone punched me in the arm. Yeah, my my first one was, uh, was a lot like that. Well, my first one felt like I, I just... I'd had surgery like two months before. That's what the first one felt like. Uh, the second one was kind of like somebody just punched me. <laughs> oh, so it's going to be like that today, Brain? Everything's just going to... Alright. So this cover I'm making a little more intimate than my last cover, I guess. Intimate? No. More, more intimate, yes. Yeah. Like a, like a now that spicy chicken sandwich. Um, spoilers, spoilers, if, if you don't want to hear this part, just cover your ears. Um Tell me they you. my characters finally got together after thirty episodes. Oh. <laughs> they yes, they are dating now. Very nice. How, how do you feel about that? I can finally start their relationship arc, I guess. Which <laughs> <laughs> is just gonna be more of a storm. I mean, that's kind of obvious enough. It's not much of a spoiler. Of course, there's gonna be a storm. Storms be brewing all the time. They're gonna get stuck in one. Have to go find a nice <laughs> haunted house to hang out in. Like, God, if, if you turn together... this into a horror story. <laughs> I, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be real excited. Can I turn it into a horror story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like they're together now, and now they go to a haunted house during oh a storm. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yep. I do feel like I am adding like I do have like eventually a suspense arc, um, added in there. Can't spoil too much. Nice, nice. <laughs> Gosh, what is your opinion on the Tiger Boy? I I have to know. A lot of people are like, I feel like, mixed opinions, but like, on the latest episodes, they're more on the better side of them. I feel like <laughs> you turned him around. Oh, I'm glad you like him. Yeah, he originally, like, that's how I introduced my characters. I feel like it's like a. I saw one of these comments, um, or whatever. They were obsessed about the new character that just came in the latest episode. Uh, of course, I can't spoil it too much for you if you haven't read it, but basically it's like 
innocent were basically guilty until proven innocent or something like that. Because <laughs> that's how my characters seem to come out. Like, they always come out, like, you know, still us at first, and then later on, you just, you know, relate or something with them. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's a pretty fair assessment. I feel like every story should have kind of a spoiler character. Um, what do they call it uh, in the in the, the music world? And I know at least in the K-pop world they call it a bias wrecker. Like I think every story should have one of those, where it's like I really like this character unless this other character is involved, at which point hard choices have to be made. <laughs> this sketch is gonna be so messy. <laughs> Like all my other sketches, just. I mean, have you seen, have you seen the sketches from my page? <laughs> They're just nowhere near as like just incomprehensible and crazy like mine. I feel like, because honestly, for some, for a simple someone with a simple style, like my sketches look like, I don't know, it just looks rough. Well, that's all sketches are supposed to be, like. Yeah, but I don't know. Mine are like extra. Sketches no. sketches are only supposed to be as detailed as you need them to be to be able to get to the final product. And if you don't need them to be that detailed, it doesn't matter. I'll figure out what to do with this arm eventually. Now those are some famous hour later last words. <laughs> I'll figure out what to do with this arm eventually. I'll get this eye to look right eventually. I'll make this side of the face match up with the other side eventually. Have you ever been designing a character knowing that you're going to have to draw them multiple times and thought, I think this character should have an eye patch so I only have to draw <laughs> one side? <laughs> Actually, no. Okay, so my, <laughs> my thought process is actually very different. Weirdly enough. It's like, is this a sign cool? I don't think about that I'm going to draw them about 50 times. <laughs> I, I just, I think it's because I like character designing and I'm like, this has got to be a cool character. This has got to be like a really good looking, you know, like, and then I realized later on, why did I make this character so complicated? Like, that, it's the realization later, like, why did I do this to myself? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, see, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, what 12 14 pages in and i am already like trying to figure out how i'm going to redesign some of these characters to make them uh easier to draw yeah to make them like less time consuming to uh -huh. put on a page I, hey I don't yo, even... we're Matt. thank you for joining i don't even think they need to be necessarily less complicated i just think i, I made some i made some decisions that were not like the best decisions for long-term character design Mm -hmm. More webcomic stuff today. I'm actually creating a new cover. This is not, this is webcomic related, but not uh, webcomic directly. <laughs> I guess that don't, makes sense. Don't right? let her fool you. Don't let her fool you. This is 100% <laughs> the entire next episode. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. I, I don't know. I also don't know if anybody is going to want to sit around and watch someone, like, draw whole, like, pages of comics like I'm doing. We're going to we're gonna do this on lunch break for a while. I'm going to... Yeah. I'll see. I'll see how it goes. It's good to... I feel like uh, web comic industry is good to drop in once in a while or leave you in the background compared to, like, watching the full process. Yeah. I, I just, like, I really like watching people's process doing stuff, um, so I figured I would just do something that I would enjoy watching. Yeah, yeah. 
but... I like if it's sped up, like, sometimes I like watching speed drawings, and then sometimes I like having someone in the background kind of... Like, I really like to watch YouTubers that, like, kind of explain something I'm actually interested in, and then draw in the background as, like, kind of something to kind of... Yeah, I, I've seen people who do, like, um, who do commentary, like... They won't. They, they don't like live stream it, but they'll they'll record the whole thing and then they'll do commentary over it. Um, I just I don't know. I don't I don't know that I have that much to say. I don't know that my uh, I don't know that my my ADD brain would be able to like handle doing all that <laughs> and not just get real bored. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're mad like, also how did the hand go? Well, uh, I'm always gonna struggle with the hand, if that's what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> the hand is always gonna be a struggle. I feel like no matter how, how many times I draw them, I mean like, sometimes I have like those good days where it's like, wow, this turned out awesome. And like sometimes my sketch ends up better than my actual, like, I guess my actual drawing and I'm like, why, why did I, what happened? I'll be real. That's one of the reasons like I've, I've really been trying to push into this style more and more <laughs> is because I hate it when I do like a really cool sketch and then can't uh -huh. uh, can't make the rest of it work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I absolutely hate that. I have done something here that I just I don't like I don't like her head. It's okay though. I have I have a liquify tool. I can fix this. I think it's just a matter of making her jaw a bit smaller. Just pulling this up a little. That's a bit better. Yeah, this whole the sketchy part is always like the hardest part for me like trying to I, the planning part of it like yeah the layout the heck I want. And all that. yeah like what do i want to do this is the hardest part but, like once everything is like done it literally becomes like process that's all it is after yeah, you get the layout mindless. done just yeah, process that's all it is see i just i have to be really careful about not getting lost in the process and just spending too much time on it yeah because like it's just it's the kind of like that mindless fun <laughs> <laughs> mindless fun yeah it's like uh it's like doing dailies in a game or something like uh -huh. you don't really have to think too much about it just do the thing yeah because like once you i mean once you've done the, like the initial sketch and the layout that's pretty much you know you know what the action is going to be you like you, you you figured out the fun parts <laughs> Now yeah. you just gotta make it look cool. <laughs> ah, I guess I should do this Now, remember when we were talking about how, like, um, poses, like, that are just poses or pinups are a little harder than just, um, uh, harder than just, like, hey, I know what they're gonna do, I know the next scene or whatever. Yeah, I'm having that moment right now. Oh, for a, for a pinup? Yeah. yeah. I, so, when I try and tackle those, um... I try, I try and take a piece of the story, uh, whatever story it happens to be, um, and I, I try and actually just put them in a scene in the story, doing something, even if it's like, nobody else might know what they're doing, but I do. And that, that tends to help me out. But, but I do. That's what's important. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you want a cool looking image, but in your head you might be like, oh, well, this is, this is something that could have been done, like, in this panel for this thing yeah if, if i wanted to make a large panel for it or uh -huh. um, something like that like that's that's kind of how i tend to think about that stuff or my 
says Twitch just had a heart attack on my end again. What happened? What happened? I see you. You're getting a lot done. Like I can't wait to see um your story. Like so, what page is this? I know you guys have a panels done, but like I know you're, I feel like you're doing it by pages. Yeah. So this page is, is this? this is page fourteen that I'm working on now. Fourteen. Wow, that's basically a chapter, isn't it? Um. Around that much. Like... I, I'm shooting for eight pages, uh, being in uh, what, an episode for uh -huh. webtoons. So, uh, yeah, I've got. Like, this is 14, 15, so I've got three more pages. Um, and then I'll be at a point where I, I'll have, like, two episodes worth of uh, webtoons kind of to go back and finish. I've still got to go back and do the shadow, the, the shading in the background on, um, like, I'd say over half of it, because some of that... 16 is based off of the initial stuff I did when I was trying to do it in Webtoons format from the beginning instead of the way I'm doing it now. That probably doesn't make much sense to anybody, but since I decided to do it in comic book format and then like port it over. Cost of hands too damn high. I am not thinking if I should make this a YouTube video. That's enough. That's why I've numbered all of mine like I have because I'm I'm just porting them all yeah. directly to YouTube. We're gonna have a series. Yeah, smart. Yeah, <laughs> whole series for this comment. Yeah. Are you uh, going to fast forward to speed drawings like I told like I told you I was doing, or are you gonna do it like in a different? I'm just doing it as like. That's why I've got all my lunch break episodes numbered, because yeah. that, that's just the series. Like, you get an hour of a lunch break, you know, of me doing whatever I'm doing. Yeah. I figure people will skip around if they want, or if they just want to see how I did something, they can stop and watch. Because, like, that's, that's the thing I really like, is figuring out, like, how did someone do this thing that I, I want to know how to do now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. As they watch, you kind of draw the process of it. Yeah. I feel like, in my opinion, because I like speed drawings, of course, people have different opinions or different, uh, you know, things they want to watch. And I feel like yours would look really cool if it was, like, speed drawn and, like, the whole process of you putting together the panel coming, like, together really fast. That could be interesting. I, I don't... Yeah. I think my my physical process of, like, kind of zooming in and spinning stuff around might not look good as a speed drawing because the the angle that i work oh, at you, changes you, i haven't noticed you do you turn your angles a lot because like remember when i told you like i don't do that zooming turning angle anymore yeah i so it doesn't it, look too bad it honestly. depends on how tired i am <laughs> mm -hmm. like if my shoulder is really tired then yeah I, i'll do more of it because i can't i can't physically make the lines i need to make without doing it um but I think for most of these, because I do this kind of earlier in my day, that probably yeah, won't be yeah. an issue. So I might go back and, like, convert some of these to, like, time lapses. Just for giggles. Just to see if they do yeah. better or whatever. I'm trying to remember exactly how I you guys set up. I need to draw this. I don't know, because I like. <sighs> trying to figure out how to do this. Because I'm using it for like different things. So I have to like format it um, a more desirable, uh, I guess, angle to be able to put it as different things, I guess. If you just, just make sure if you want to use it for different stuff that you make it bigger than whatever yeah. it needs to be and then you can kind of just do whatever you want to with it later yeah
I had a fun day yesterday. Relaxing day, just... I guess just doing lots of stuff. We went to the mall, we went to... Um, or me and my boyfriend. I was celebrating my boyfriend's birthday. Uh, really late. Both really busy. So, we just went to the mall. Uh, we went to an arcade. We went... Um, to eat sushi. Nice. We, uh, I want to go to the zoo, but, like, um, apparently it's closed on Mondays, which is understandable, because, like, you know, I feel like those are really slow days, they wouldn't have any money. Like, a lot of places seem to be closed Mondays because, you know, can't really afford to open on certain days that don't bring in business, which I totally understand. Yeah. Can't be helped. Having a day off like that kind of helps me like recharge a bit too. Make it makes me feel motivated and then. I feel like I was, I was getting a little burnt out for a minute. Motivation's important. Yeah. Like you can't, you can't Especially work. for being a web comic artist. Any yeah. type of comic artist I feel like. Yeah, realistically, any kind of artist, like yeah, you've gotta you gotta keep your creative batteries charged. Yeah. You can't. I mean, you cannot do something for like twelve to fourteen hours a day, almost seven days a week, and like mm -hmm. not not keep your not not take care of yourself, keep yourself like juiced up and motivated. Because mm -hmm. you will burn right out. I'm like doing a half the page now. It's like I did do like a high quality page. I had to like, but do it like kind of smaller to kind of okay, get the idea. Yeah. Oh, and then yesterday I also went to go, to go shopping um, for like, I guess a little bit for myself too and for him. So like, I went to go buy some new Pokemon figures to put on my desk. I really need to post it, but it's like, it's like, I'm proud of it because like, I usually always wanted to collect things and I never collect things for myself. And then ever since I got like my own desk and stuff and um just kind of my own space i was i wanted to like decorate my desk and everything it's just like i don't know i just feel like i move around a lot and uh i just feel like i don't have anything my own you know what i mean i 100 percent understand and then now that i have my personal workspace as my own i kind of like decorate out my desk and stuff and it's like and i have like a whole shelf where it's like like Pokemon figures, like my favorite, mostly Eevee Illusions, of course, and then like a little bit of figures of my fa other favorite Pokemon here and there. And it's like my goal is just to like just have a very a nice shelf just full of these collections, and it like kind of tells a story too. Um, I think I'll post it sometimes, kind of, because it's like one thing I'm proud of. Like I can collect like something I'm able to collect myself. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely, man. When and you... there's this figure, and it's like, it's like a, it's like a whole evolution like, uh, figure thing, and it's like five hundred dollars, and I'm like, oh. <sighs> that is my goal one day. If I can just have that on my desk, <laughs> I know it's like, 
crazy expensive, and I'm just like, that's all I want. <laughs> all I want in life is sushi and expensive toys. Yeah. <laughs> One day I'll be able to um, afford it. Yeah. Start making that big money. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, I don't know, I just feel like. I don't do a lot for myself, and this is like one of those things. I keep telling you, to take care of your star <laughs> player. Like, I can already tell you that these fish people are going to get a streamlined design at some point in the near future. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? I'm so focused on positioning this right now, I like kind of zoned out. <laughs> I was just saying, like, these fish people are getting a, a redesign for, oh, their, for, yeah. their, <laughs> for their outfits uh, in the very near future. Um, when I did their, their costume designs, I treated them like I was doing concept art. And uh, I went a little overboard, so. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, so we gotta. We it gotta... does look very detailed and uh, a lot to draw, you know, a million more times. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that in the future. <laughs> so I uh, also uh, binge watched a little bit of My Hero Academia to catch up in the new season. And, um, yeah. uh, I noticed that, like, well, we noticed that there was, like, a lot of character redesigns or whatever. And, like, on their costumes and stuff like that. And I'm like, gosh, the fact that, like, he, he introduces so many characters, so many designs, so many characteristics in a character. So, like, and then redoing characters, like, designs and stuff each season. Because they, you know, it's just like, oh my gosh, like, that's just, he's, like, <laughs> basically creating, like, a Pokemon world in a way. Yeah. Yeah, that guy, that guy goes hard. <laughs> yeah. And I gotta appreciate that. That right there. Like, he's definitely got some creativity going on with him, like... Oh, yeah, you can tell the dude really, like... Yeah. ...enjoys his work. And you're drawing, and you're like, what are these extra lines? What the heck was this for? <laughs> so my goal is to kind of make it look like, like a little bit of like a manga cover. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the tilt. Gotta put them on tilt. Nice. Because, you know, who don't like a good manga cover? Only losers. Only losers don't <laughs> like good manga covers. And, and you can tell him I said that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm looking up references right now. Mm. More references.
should have done this from the beginning. To help. That's what we're doing. My brain can no longer do a proper cost-benefit analysis. So, it all gets to be that color. Uh, I have a little bit of negative space right here, and that's, I guess, where the title is going to be. Um, not on my, uh, icon, but I am using this for other stuff, so. So I have to, like, leave room for this title up here. Nice. Yeah. Painting out all my ideas. Making a list and checking it twice. Yeah. Bet you already know who's naughty and nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I don't know if you're watching your stream, but come look for a second and tell me how you feel about this, I guess, pose. I like it. He's all cool with his hand in his pocket. <laughs> mm. I like the mirror. Yeah, yeah. I like what you got going on here. Very nice. Yeah, make it make more intimate with each other. Oh, giggity. <laughs> I should add more movement to the skirt altogether. I have this like dress code thing I'm trying to do where it's like you know how like cats are like cats like okay so it's like a confusion with like where the skirt and the tail is placed or whatever and I'm trying to have it where the tail kind of comes out like there's a slit in the back of the skirt compared to like it coming right under the skirt because sometimes like like say when, like, the tail wants to go straight up or something, like, it'll lift the skirt, and then, like, that's kind of pointless for the skirt, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you can see everything under the skirt, and that's, like, kind of... I should be against, like, you know, dress code or whatever. So that's why, like, there's more of a slit in the back. So I, like, And that, I, like, confuses some people. Have you, um... I've seen... I've seen... Yeah, son of a bitch. I've seen solutions to that where the um the skirt actually has like a a button like a, a a hole i guess essentially at the top of the skirt where it zips up and that's where the tails come out of that's what i mean by uh a slit in the the skirt the back of the skirt yeah well the the way the way i've seen it handled um hold on yeah and references that's how I've been handling, like, kind of imagine there's a slit in the back of the throat, which is not explained very, like, much, which I feel like I should explain later on. Um, yeah. Because, like, say a rabbit tail. A rabbit's tail is very, like, short. And, like, if it was under the skirt, that wouldn't look good. Yeah, see, here. Um, here, check, check my stream out. I'll show you. The way, like, it, this is, like, in an old, like, how to draw manga book where they did it. But basically, the way the skirts 
um, work is you've got like almost like a bra clip um, at the top on the waistband of the skirt and then you've got like your skirt part here and um, like in the back their tail like whatever tail would go out of like this area okay that's I guess I just saw more of a simple like slit kind of like you know how like um, yeah just like pajama this. pants they kind of have just a slit yeah except that you're gonna see their whole ass like <laughs> <laughs> because there's a slit well, it, there. It's not like a straight up, like, like a gigantic slit. It's like enough for the tail to fit through. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Like, like squeezing the tail through. Yeah. See, I, I think that's why they, they kind of came up with this little thing. I don't know. Like I said, it was in like a how to draw manga book that I got like uh -huh. 15 uh, years ago. Oh, that is kind of smart though. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you read a lot of that. Um, I mean, I, that, that was back before you could just watch people, like, make art whenever you wanted to, so yeah, anytime I had the opportunity to buy a book that was, like, how to not suck, um, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I feel like not a lot of the manga books are not, like, I don't know, they're very, I feel like they weren't good enough or explain things very well, or maybe because I didn't really like to read. Yeah, that second one there might be the, uh, the kicker. Um, uh, there are some amazing amazing books that people have written about art um that can really help you level up because uh -huh. because of the theory behind it the thing is we, we live in a time now where you don't you don't necessarily have to do that you can just like you can be like oh i really like this artist let me go see yeah. what they do and like odds are you can find them <laughs> doing their thing and just watch but yeah you know back in the before youtube and twitch days like it was like find a book and you know pray <laughs> <laughs> like hope hope that this is that this helped you and and there are a lot of great i mean let's be real people have been writing um and making art books for a very long time um like the internet was not the beginning of people trying to show other people how to do art so yeah yeah but but it I feel like it, like, spread the word better, I guess. Well, just like everything else, the internet has made knowledge accessible to people that it just wasn't accessible to before. Yeah. That's that's kind of the, like, the glorious thing about the internet. Um, yeah. So, But I, I, I still have a book that um, is, like, the best uh, facial reference material i've ever seen like a, it's 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 just, what is it something it's something how to draw faces something but it's got like an incredible anatomical breakdown of like the bones and the muscles and and all that stuff in the face and then it goes over it's even got some psychology in it about like which which muscles are um like normally involuntary so it's like these are the things that people can kind of control and these are the things that they can't so it, it kind of teaches you like how to draw people with a fake smile so that you can tell it's a fake smile yeah so, which is like fucking insane to me of like how dare you drop knowledge like that on purpose <laughs> <laughs> And that honestly, secrets left and right. Yeah, and that's the kind of stuff that you really don't get out of a lot of live stream people because a lot of people like me and you um, are in a lot of areas self-taught. Like, yeah, I went to school right for true. art, but I did not go to school for like the psychology of facial expressions. <laughs> like, yeah. like well, why the hell would I know that? Um, without actively studying it, you know? And there's a lot of things that's like, oh, how to break into the comics industry and, like, how to get your work noticed and how to use yeah. Photoshop. And, like, that's all well and good, but there is... There's more... There's more to storytelling, you know? There's... The world is so vast, and people have been doing... And this sounds generic. People have been doing things for a long time. They've been learning things for a long time. 
and there's a lot of academic approaches to stuff that may not necessarily be practical um, in a lot of ways, but can still, you know, have some really interesting practical applications for us as like storytelling artists. But because we're not like in a school environment for this kind of stuff, because we are largely self-taught, it's kind of a matter of unknown unknowns. Like there's there's stuff out there that you just don't know you don't know. Like some people get to it, uh, what's the word? Intrinsically, like some people just kind of inherently understand that like this is a smile, but it doesn't look right. So this is what yeah. this character is going to do. But I feel like there's a level of, of understanding and knowledge um, that you get with understanding why something uh -huh. has an effect that you just can't get on a lot of uh, a lot of other avenues. Like books just do it so well because I mean. Anybody can hop on Twitch and talk shit about something, but like you want to, you want to get your book out there, you got to put legit time into it. Yeah. I have to say, this this way of not doing like pencils, inks, colors, it makes making mouths so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at you like how? Like I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> Because like okay, so one of my biggest problems that, that I've noticed that I have is volume for things. So like not not my voice. Um, that's an issue, but it's a different one. Like my, uh, <laughs> so like when I draw an arm, right? Like I know, I know how everything is put together. I know the anatomy of it, but I get so caught up on making a good line that I kind of lose the volume in the arm. And so I'll come out with like a skinny arm or in the case of the mouth, I'll have like real skinny lips. If I just make one line and then I got to erase the line and then make another line. But when you're doing it like this. You can just keep adding the volume because you're just making the color go where it's supposed to go. So, like, I don't know. It, it, oh, it's okay, really fun. That's you mean. No, it's still backwards to me how, how you do that. It's still backwards to me, too. Like, I'm still learning how to do this. I don't I don't really think I've got it down pat yet. But um, I feel like, I mean, what I see you're doing, like, it's, I don't know, like, I feel like that method really works with your, you know, style and everything, like. It's getting there. I, I really feel like, I mean, I'm, again, I'm like 14 pages in at this point, but I feel like I'm, I feel like I am kind of getting to a place where I can really make this practical. Yeah. It's all about getting used to it, because, like, when you first jump into it, it's, like, definitely, like... Oh, God, yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah. It, it's just fucking yeah, terrifying. Yeah, it really is. It, it kind of, like... It was really hard for me at first, like, what, like I didn't know what I was doing, I still couldn't really find my style, I couldn't figure anything out, I was just like... But I learned throughout all of it, and then it made the whole process a lot easier for me. I'm glad. We need more cine artwork in the world, more cine stories. <laughs> more, more Sin-chan stories. Yeah. still remains to be seen whether we need any Andy stories in the world. <laughs> we'll know soon enough, I guess. You ever, like, um... I mean, I know you do, but like for like a certain scene, do you ever use your own reference? Like, what did I do here? Oh God, yeah. 
Yeah, like kind of the whole premise of my story, even though I, I don't like the idea of me being a character in anything, but a lot of this is based around like, well, what would someone like me do in this situation? Mm-hmm. Uh, and by that, I mean like someone who's older and maybe like not as awestruck by all the crazy shit going on. That's more like, yo, this is fucking dangerous. And I don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you're in a you're in another world with all these crazy and fantastic things. Like, yeah, I have yet to see like a good doctor here. Um, I don't even know if you guys have indoor plumbing. Like, I don't want anything to do with this shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that'll just be for the like for one character, kind of that that character that ties the audience in to this weird fucking place. Mm-hmm. What about you? How much of you do you drop into your your world here? Um. Sorry, I'm reading something right now. <laughs> Can I ask me a question and start reading random shit? I'm sorry, I'm like trying to look through. I'm, lo- I'm looking through something right now and then I like zone the hell out. ADHD kicking in. How much of my world did I drop in? <laughs> How much of your own experiences <laughs> do you drop into your world? A lot. A lot. <laughs> um. Uh, each character. I feel like every single character is a piece of me. Well, that's some deep shit. No. <laughs> wasn't, yeah. wasn't aiming for that <laughs> level of... <laughs> I... Like... I, for real, though, like, um... If I don't quit making this time look like a dong, I'm gonna lose my mind. Sorry, sorry. Um, Didn't mean to they're like my kid, like my characters are like my kids, I guess. Like each character I create, it's like, like they're they're it's, they're their own person, but like they're still a piece of me in them from my personal experience, or like how they feel, or like what they're like. Not like exactly every personal experience, or like yeah. I can see that. How much of that was intentional? And how much of it is just kind of how it worked Um, out? At first it was like not intentional at all. And then I realized like, you know, how much, you know, I implement all this into my story or whatever. It's fair. Now you've got me thinking, like, are there... Is that well, how... I mean, you... Okay, so, like... I definitely feel like your main character is, like, very much like you. Yeah, that that's just because I don't... I'm not I'm not really confident as a, as a writer, so I'm uh-huh. just like... How do I make this grounded? Just throw a character in there that I can kind of not have to think too hard about how they would react to a situation. And I was like, well, if I make a character that's kind of like me, but, you know, obviously, I don't know, what, the the character, well, first off, the character kind of looks like me, because I've been using my, my, myself as like, um, that whole like, oh, I can look in the, I can look in the mirror, and like, (laughs) Like, there's your reference right there. That's what his stupid oh face goodness. is looking like. <laughs> so, so that, again, he, he might, uh, that character might end up changing. But at the same time, I don't really care if it really looks like me because. Uh, oh my goodness, Aiden's on my desk and knocking things over. <laughs> Speaking of your kids. But the character isn't me. And, the, and who ah. the, that character is just really isn't even that important. Like, that character could be anybody. Could be any of us. Mm-hmm. Just somebody from 
like the real world. Mm hmm, yeah. I guess that's why I'm even kind of reluctant to, to call it the main character, because, like, I feel like it's more of a lens than a character. Like, this is just kind of a viewport for the story. He still feel like I don't know what I'm doing when I do the line art. And I'm just like... I don't know if that ever changes. Yeah, it's like... It's after the line art that's like... When things get easier. Yeah. Sketching the line art is literally the, the hardest part. Because it's the process of thinking. I think that's why I like skipping it. <laughs> like, that's that why you're... you don't do it at... Like, you go... You like... <laughs> That's true. Like, well, you don't really skip it. You kind of do that later. I do. And, and you know, I think part of why it's so stressful is because, like, you're having to make really hard decisions right now. Like, this is the time when you really are having to decide exactly how everything works. Yeah, um, yeah. But if you do it this way, then that that those decisions aren't really that permanent. Like, I can move my, my line art. Whenever the hell I feel like it, like if I don't feel like it works, then it's not that big of a deal. I can just drop something over it. I can, I can treat what I'm doing, you know, almost like I'm building, almost like I'm sculpting. Like I can just kind of move shit if I want to. I don't know. It it feels it feels simultaneously less stressful and more stressful sometimes because I feel like. There's a there's a point when, like you said, like once you've dropped your line work in, then you just have to color it. Like the hard yeah, part's done, yeah. right? But like with this, I feel like I feel almost like you're distributing the hard part more evenly across, so that it doesn't feel as heavy, but it also never feels quite as light as it does once you're done with that part. Yeah. Which is funny, because I still do it the way that you're doing it right now. Like, when I'm doing... A lot of time when I'm doing storyboards for work, like, I still use the traditional, like, do line art, and then if I have to put something on top of it, I do process, like, color or shading or whatever. Are you struggling with one line? <laughs> Are you asking me, or are you telling me? I'm telling you, I'm struggling with one line right now. I'm t yep, to hell with it. To hell with that line. Do it later. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, that's my philosophy on, on hard lines. It's terrible. It's terrible advice. No, fuck it, do it later. <laughs> it bothers me now. If I go on, it'll, it'll bother me. It'll like, be in the back of my mind. And I'll mess everything else up, and just, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... It's like one of those I gotta fix now. You could. You could do that, or you could not. <laughs> you're, <laughs> it's like you're my conscious, right? Conscious? Con conscious right now? And then you're, like, telling me no. Like, you know, one of those, like, angels in both, like... Shoulders with like the demon and the angel, and you're like, I'll do it now. <laughs> you're, you're the devil. Yeah, I'll be your Huckleberry, sure. <laughs> I can go with that. I, I I know I've played the devil on people's shoulders before. <laughs> oh my goodness, I could definitely see that with you. That's what Cam says. <laughs> He's like, you're, you're supposed to be the good influence, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Well, look, sometimes the good influence. Has just seen some shit, okay? 
and uh, <laughs> knows when it's time to, to do the bad thing. Come on, hand. I know you can be steadier than that. <laughs> I want more tell with this character, so I will change his tell. More tail? More tell. Mm. More tail. <laughs> I want more tell in the image. How in the hell did I do that? I just started a new layer for no reason. No! Did you put it on the wrong layer? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I work essentially on one layer at this point. I don't care. I've lost. <laughs> I've gone dumb. I feel like that's a low key. Like, I, I don't care. But really, in reality, it's like I fucked up. I have to not care or I will go crazy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. This is what happens when you know you're going to fuck up. So you have preemptively set yourself up so that it doesn't matter. Like, I'm already on, I, I literally have, I'm going to have to go through and break stuff up and put them on multiple layers so that I can do backgrounds and shit. Because I've mm -hmm. literally got entire pages that I've done like this that are all just one layer. Like, <laughs> the, <laughs> the amount of, uh, I, now I do feel like the amount of fuck it all involved in, in working like that um, suits me. <laughs> Like, how few fucks do you have to give to just put oh all your shit on one layer? Like, yeah, okay, let's do it. To hell with it. Oh, it's oh. on the wrong layer? Flatten everything. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Well, yeah, so after an hour, that's all I've got. That's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's, that's all you got in an hour? That's all I got in an hour. Uh, wait, it's been an hour? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been over an hour. Uh, the reality check. Oh my goodness. It's been an hour and I'm only on this line. So sad. Yeah, that, that's what happens when you and I just spend too much time bullshitting. Like... <laughs> <laughs> wait, I was not bullshitting. It wasn't making very much. <laughs> Our conversation may have been bullshitting, but <laughs> I was working. I know. <laughs> That's also looking at references, too. Oh, well, I mean, I've been working the whole time. I just... <laughs> is, I, I feel like you attacked me. <laughs> that was not my intent. And I apologize. Look at you and those nice fingers. Just effortless nice fingers. I'm jealous. <laughs> you say that, and I'm like over here just like, Stop watching me! Draw my fingers! I'm judging me! <laughs> Well, you Gosh, were amazing. No. Such effortless fingers. Mm -hmm. the, the effortless, I wish. Like, <laughs> struggling right now. <laughs> to hell with that other finger. We're done. We don't need it. <laughs> Killing me. Alright, it's been fun. I gotta go. I gotta go. Right, other work now. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. You too. Do you have any more hands to draw? Nope. Yes. Nope. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I got one in the pocket. You're going to draw the hand in the pocket? <laughs> I'm going to draw the thumb that's sticking out. <laughs> oh, well. Best of luck to you. I hope you survive. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Later. See ya.